beauties how's everybody doing thanks for joining me and welcome back so today we are going to do another segment of what i'm liking and not so much so if you guys want to hear what those products are and those items are then just keep on watching I honestly don't think I have anything here that is uh, not so much, so that's a good thing, right? Um, I don't have any hair care products neither, I've noticed. I was kind of looking and thinking, hmm, skincare for one of the first things I'm going to share with you guys is an item I got at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, I love going to that store. You can find some great bargains on some skincare, hair care, makeup, all kinds of stuff, you know? Um, it is worth looking into. One is from this company called Skin Lab. Don't know if any of you guys ever heard of Skin Lab. I had had a eye product that was a lift and firm eye product. It's like a gel with some microbeads in it. Really liked it a lot. My husband and I used it. We loved it. Well, this here is a lift and firm collagen elastin treatment serum. It's a uh, hydrolyzed collagen and elastin hydrate to firm and tone. I noticed when I put this product on, which it's different as in like the uh, look, the look of a typical serum because it's more milky looking. But when you rub it in and massage it into your skin, it really, I mean, dries quickly. You'll see here. And that's one of the things I like about it. And then also I can feel the benefit um, like the lifting and firming as it mentions. I really do. Um, I really feel this is a game changer in my skincare routine that I've been doing. So I would highly recommend if you have a TJ Maxx. Marshalls might even have it, but the company called Skin Lab. I'm going to look more into them because I'm sure they have moisturizers and other things. And I have a couple products here that were sent to me and I'm doing reviews. I'll probably have a blog up here at some point and everything. Not sure if I'll review it on here. If you guys are interested in me reviewing the product, let me know. As always, be glad to do that for you guys. This is called Evan Natural Mineral Water. It is a facial spray. It moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. You probably have seen this on, um, I think Sephora has it actually. This is a travel size that you can put in your purse, um, but I can tell you it's nice fine mist of a spray that comes out. I think the only thing I wasn't sure is this gimmicky, you know, because some products can be gimmicky, obviously. And I mean, I thought, what's the difference if I take water from my tap and purify it and then put it in a bottle that does a fine mist and spritz on my face. Um, I don't know, don't have any of those things. I mean, I do see it says natural mineral water. You can use it daily as your facial spray. It hydrates your skin, helps fix up your makeup and refreshes. Uh, I'm not sure, but the funny thing is I like it. That's where it gets me. Like, I don't know if I see a difference between this or Mario Badescu, my rose water though. I'm not sure if I'm really seeing the difference. I think one of the difference this has more of a five minutes spray. I mean, I'm liking it, so that's why I put it here. I think my Mario Badescu does do the same, just doesn't have the finer mist than this. It does work. Refreshes, makes my skin feel great, hydrates it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it does work. Another product that was sent to me, which I've talked about this company a lot, just as much as probably I talk about uh, Mario Badescu, is the Valentia Company. Valentia. This is the Skin Detoxifying Clay Mask. Clay masks. I've told you before, clay masks are so important to have if you can get them. This one though, I will say is a multitasker. You know I me, mean? whenever I find a multitasker, it's like, you know, it's really a good thing. Um, this one not only takes out the impurities in your skin, it also can be used to, an, as an exfoliant once after it dries on you and you go ahead and wet your skin. There's like little fine little um, fibers in here as they call it. Not sure if you'll be able to see it on my camera. And yeah, you just you put it on and pat it all over. And everything it smells great it has um, cranberry and hibiscus in it 
and you put it on, let it dry, 15, 20 minutes, you leave it on, and then later you go ahead and you can go ahead and exfoliate on your skin with these little, I don't know if you're seeing the fibers, they're little black specks, and yeah, you exfoliate and remove some dead skin. I'm really liking it because it's supposed to help um, tone and firm the skin. It's supposed to help with uh, diminishing wrinkles, brightens the skin, softens the skin, plumps the skin. Um, I'm really liking it. Like I said, Valentia, I think is a really good company to look into. I really do believe that. I'm not just saying that because they're sending me products. I really do feel they're a company that is worthwhile looking into. I had purchased in Walmart. It's from St. Ives. It's the Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. It is a huge tub. I got this for like around $6 and it is visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's formulated with collagen elastin proteins. It has a lovely scent. I have to say it does have like a florally maybe scent. So there it is there. It's kind of like a nice whipped, whipped kind of a moisturizer. It's very thin texture. It does melt into the skin really quickly as well. I use this on my face, on my neck, on my chest, all over on my body. Uh, sometimes I'll put it on during the daytime for the most part um, to just give that little bit of extra moisture. Put my serum on, put this on, and then I put another moisturizer on, like my SPF moisturizer. And then the last skincare product I have here is the company um, Scalacy. I talked about them before. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably should go on QVC and listen to how they pronounce it. This is the anti-aging moisturizer. I had talked about the cleanser in my cleansing and exfoliating video that was up prior before this. Um, this is one that has an SPF of 30, a uh, broad spectrum of SPF 30. Comes in a really nice um, casing, uh, really nice moisturizer. It's thick, um, but even though it looks thick, it melts into the skin. Really nice. Um, it is what I've been using every day in the daytime. It is just the daytime moisturizer. I think I think they have a nighttime one, but there it is there. Look how, just me putting all that stuff on, look how luminous, hydrate, and everything from showing you all the different products I put on my hand. That's why I'm loving these products and enjoying them. I guess you could consider this kind of a skincare product, so maybe I'll add this in before I share some more makeup. This is makeup and skincare, but it is the Hard Candy Sheer NV Hydrating Primer Mist, 12-hour uh, power, <laughs> electrolytes, energize, and hydrate the skin. It's oil-free, silicone-free, and alcohol-free. Now, they do have another one. This one, I don't think would be, obviously, for somebody that has oily skin, you would want to get the other one. This one's more for somebody who has combination, do dry skin, normal skin, whatever. You know, that's what this one would be for. Makeup. So now I get it. I get it. I get why people are raving over this product here. Um, a lot of them seem to be a lot of the uh, mature beauties that I watch on here on YouTube. And it's the Argon Wear BB Cream from Physician's Formula. Oh my goodness, I get it, I get it. I only wore it once when I first got it. And that is what I'm wearing today. Pretty much I'm wearing a lot of the products today of what I'm going to be sharing and everything. Um, I this is a wonderful, wonderful BB cream. Definitely would repurchase this. I feel like it covers very well, but yet it's light. The only thing that I try to, it doesn't bother me that much, but maybe for some it would. It does have a perfumey scent. Mine does have a strong perfumey scent. Some say theirs don't. Mine does, but it doesn't linger on the skin forever. It's just when you have it on your hand and you're putting on it first, but it pretty much goes away. Um, I get it, people. So I really like it. The product that my in-laws had sent to me was from Bourjois, the Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Radiance uh, Concealer. It's, this is my one of my favorite concealers, if not the favorite concealer. It's light and creamy. I did do a review. I could put the review down below of what I did on this and the foundation. I like the foundation too. Uh, from Bourjois. This is lightweight, but yet so effective in how well it covers up under the eyes um, and brightens under the eyes for me. Really like it. Very effective. Covers up really nice. 
but it's still a light, it's not a thick concealer. Bronzer. One of my favorite bronzers is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which um, almost everybody loves this. Not everybody, but mostly everybody loves the Chocolate Soleil. This one's a medium deep. It kind of surprised me because I thought I would probably like the milk chocolate or the lighter one. So this one kind of surprised me. The medium deep works better for me. And I'm fair complected, go figure. But it's in this little small thing. I got it in one of them summer kits from Sephora. I want to get the bigger size when this gets, I'm not going to buy it now. What's the point? You know, I'll wait until I get through this and then I'll get the bigger size. My blushes I'm enjoying this week that I've used several times when I have put on makeup is from Pure Cosmetics. It's in one of their little blushes. Um, this one's in Tees. It's a really pretty pink shade. There it is there. It's really pretty. So I've been using that lately and I'm, I really like it. Highlighter. Of course, yes, I have another highlighter. This is from, this is from Laura Mercier. This one here. I want to get, try some more her stuff. Um, Laura Mercier, it is in the Indiscretion uh, Face Illuminator. Now they do have other shades now um, in these illuminators and I think Devotion is one that I wouldn't mind trying. That's, this is the highlight I have on today. There it is there. Oh, it is so pretty. You're so pretty, so witty. Mm -hmm. You know that song maybe, I don't know. But there it is. That is what I have on my cheeks, that glow that you see going on. On my cheeks. <laughs> on my cheeks. So I really like that highlighter. Eyes. I'm not sure what to think of this product, so I didn't feel like I wanted to put it on my not so much. I kind of like it, but I'm in between with it, I guess. And it is the new Color Tattoo Eye Chrome eyeshadows that are in these tubes like this that have a doe foot applicator that come along with it. Um, 510 beige luster okay the thing is because i had put this on my eyelids so there it is there it looks like a very pretty shade the only thing is i felt like i had to kind of build it up or keep putting it on um because i do have it on my eyelids and then later i put on another eyeshadow on top of it so i kind of used it as an eye base i might be better off using it as an eye base I'm not sure. Now on camera, I mean, yeah, it's showing about pretty not too bad, but when I'm looking at it in person, it's very faint, very light. Um, I probably maybe have to use it more as an eyeshadow base um, instead of just putting it on. And Now they have a silver one and a couple other shades. I might get the silver. They have a pink one, the pink one in the inner corner. Some shades did look hit and miss. I think the shade's really pretty. So just, I'm not really sure. But I am liking it. While we're into eyeshadows, I I honestly have to say, and this is no joke, I grab this palette a lot. This has to be right up there with the Lorac Pro of my most used palettes. This is no joke. No joke. And it is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. It's like some have shimmer, some are matte. On my eyes, they're like right in here and up in, in the crease and up and through here. I use the shade um, Zone and Anaheim. These two shades, which are the most two shades, like this one here, Anaheim, and then this one here, Zone, are the two I use a lot, a lot. Um, I don't know. It's like I just, I grab it constantly. And I, see, I just think the palette's gorgeous. I love it. I'm not always a huge Urban Decay fan because some of their shadows are too glittery for me. This palette's probably the best, one of the best ones I've used. You know, it's funny. I have the Naked 2 and I have the Naked 3 and I haven't used it as much as I did this one. <laughs> Lastly, on my lips. As you can see, it's a pretty bold lip color. This is from the new Bolds, Maybelline Bolds, which speaking of bolds, I only got this one. This shade's in 810 uh, Fury Fuchsia. Right there, very fuchsia, pretty color. Like I said, it is like pinky, pinky red. They're creamy, but they seem matte. 
but it's really pretty. So that's what's on my lips today. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you joining me in my segment, uh, my second week of my segment. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much, and I'd so much appreciate it, and it would make me happy. So it would probably jump up and down for joy and all that good stuff. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time y'all take care i will see you then love you guys bye bye